Welcome my Tauruses to your July monthly zodiac sign readings. I'm Christine and I'm really grateful for your support and for taking the time to stop by here. We are going to start, oh I picked the wrong deck. We're going to start with Oracle first before moving into Tarot. As I shuffle I just want to give you a few reminders. Always trust yourself and your intuition even if it's weird. Uh, practice discernment, especially uh, if the reading um, completely doesn't resonate. Know that energies are fluid and that people have free will. I also want to take this time to simply welcome my new subscribers and also my, uh, I don't want to say old subscribers, but regular ones. <laughs> and again, just uh, give gratitude for your support in helping me grow this channel. We're going to take a look and see what's going on, what guidance the ancestors and angels have. And I also intuitively went with work your light decks, two of them, because this is a season of not dimming your light. It, and it's super important to stay in our power and not give that away. Okie dokes, let's get started. What messages does the universe have for my Tauruses, please? Wait, something turned. Yes, you see? You guys, we got these last week for the uh, collective weekly energy reading. So we got Trader, exchange energy to create abundance. And then we got Wise One, grow within your current situation. My Taurus is what's been going on. I know we've had major shifts. We're in cancer season now. I'm, this, I'm definitely feeling this is more about your stability, your foundation, perhaps career. Some of you may have recently left a job or are wanting to leave a job or make a shift into something that pays you more, but more so for your value. Some of you may be in positions right now where you don't feel like you're adequately, adequately compensated and it's been super frustrating. You know you deserve better, you know you deserve more. Some of you have been getting intuitive messages. Look at all this white here, but also the owl and the moon. The owl gives us wisdom, elucidates clarity, allows us to see things we didn't see. The same with the raven, blackbird. Raven, I should say, or crow. <laughs> And for some of you, these may be your spirit animals. The same with your ancestors. I feel like many of you have been getting signs and messages about the next steps to take, perhaps people you've met, nudges, but I'm not getting movement right now, but we will see. We will keep going and taking a look before we... I'm just getting a lot of thinking in your head, like decisions at this moment, but no, no action as of yet. Some of you I'm sensing have been in a job where you are just, you cannot wait to go. You just wanna quit, but I feel like you wanna have a backup before you do that, even though you, you're you like that close to leaving. I'm getting strongly, this has to do with your career, your finances. It could be too what lights you up. Maybe your purpose, some of you feel like what you're doing, it's not living up to your heart. It's In other words, it's not really connected to who you are and where you want to be, especially, or where you want to go, I should say, especially in this season of life. I feel like many of you are creative. I'm getting strongly Etsy, Etsy shop vibes. And it doesn't mean you have to own an Etsy store, but I'm getting many of you naturally may have side hustles or be entrepreneurs or be very creative, very unique thinkers, right? Kind of like the patterns on this rug. You guys have um, the ability to come up with really innovative ideas. And some of you haven't said anything about them. You've kept them hidden. But it's precisely this, this energy that you're in that is going to be linked to your abundance. Some of you may be thinking about going solo, like starting your own business or teaming up with others. Okay, we're going to tap into the Moonology card. What else can you tell us about... Okay, I didn't even finish my sentence. I wanted to say what else can the universe tell you all about um, what's happening, what's going to happen, what's going on in July. 
conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse you all there may be a message for you in the weekly energy reading i did for monday because we got the uh, expect changes for the i think it was new for the lunar eclipse one of the eclipses but we got an eclipse card there too wow so we the next eclipse we have because we just wrapped up the lunar the last lunar eclipse and obviously solar before that in may and then we have the next one in october and november and so i feel like this is about to come to fruition so get ready start setting your plans into motion because i feel like by this time october november of this year many of you are going to be in a different place again i, I feel strongly these are related this is relating to your financial stability your job your career could be your mission your purpose how you make money what oh you guys i can't even get the sentences out and they're coming out a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in libra so we have the first quarter moon in libra this wednesday so july 6th at the the filming of this reading although my readings are timeless and so i feel like if many of you are thinking about changes to make it doesn't have to be like this week but you're thinking about changes in the coming weeks maybe a couple months or before a certain season like fall or summer excuse me fall or spring depending on which hemisphere you're at the scales are in your favor and I, amazingly i said um the next eclipse will be in October. I think it's October 25th, so technically it's Scorpio, but it starts around, I'll say Libra season. That's when a lot of the st shifting starts to happen. Any other messages for my Tauruses, please, that they need to be aware of? Anything else? What else for my Tauruses, please? Some of you may have Libra in your chart. You guys, Libra and Taurus, both ruled by Venus, so. Okay, we got a final card here. Oh, you all came out in your reading. <laughs> I love it when that happens. New moon in Taurus. Look at this. Prosperity lies ahead. I, I knew it. This is a definitely about finances, about career, about your work. Look at this. Unbelievable. Let me move these up. I'm gonna com just combine them a little to save space as we get more cards. Wow. So some of you may have been thinking if I make this move, if I leave this job or this career, it could be an entirely new career that you are thinking about leaving and going to something that really connects to your heart. You may be wondering, is it worth it? Will I still make money? Will I still be able to afford the way I live or will I still be able to have that security that I want? look at this i feel like when you connect to your heart excuse me when you connect to your heart space that's that that is the energy that helps create the abundance it has nothing to do with okay i trained to be a lawyer i'm gonna make a i'm gonna be a lawyer after getting my law degree not every lawyer who has not every trained lawyer i should say who has their jd their juris doctorate makes the money they anticipate making they may not find the job, there may not be any available, who knows for whatever reason. And they may switch to opening up an Etsy shop and maybe selling designs. Maybe they're interested in graphic design and boom, it, the career takes off. So be really careful of any self-limiting beliefs. I'm getting some of you may be holding yourself back because of those beliefs and just norms and things that you thought you had to do a certain way in order to reach this prosperity, in order to reach this foundation and stability. Really important, because this wise one is similar to the hermit card in the tarot. Really tap, sorry for my squeaky chair, <laughs> really tap into your intuition right now because this is where you're getting the messages. Call in, ask your spiritual team, ask the universe, whatever you ascribe to the higher power, God, your angels, your ancestors, ask them for help, ask them for, ask them for signs, ask them to put people, positions, whatever in your way to help you because it will come. It's, we simply have to be open. Oh, where does the deck go? 
Oh, you want Sacred Traveler's deck. We're gonna take a look at that. I didn't peek, but I always like to peek. Let's peek under the Oracle decks here. We have Elder, Move Beyond Ancestral Patterns. So this could be connected to the self-limiting beliefs you had. Perhaps in your family, in your lineage, people have always done a certain thing for work or maybe they have worked a in a certain industry or job or they've worked uh, relentlessly, tirelessly, basically like 60 hours a week for a paycheck that was not compensating them for their value. Maybe it's some type of pattern that has repeated itself in your family and you're like, nope, I'm going to break it. I don't need to work 10 hour days doing what I love in order to make a living. I can do it differently. Ooh, and it's also, it's cancer. It's very much tied to ancestors. And at the bottom of the Moonology deck, take time to breathe out. This does speak to cancer about making sure you do incorporate rest and self-care. Okay, what other messages? What else do my cancers need to know, please, for July, for this month? Thank you. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. You guys, the peacock really speaks to prosperity. Rainbow, blessings. Look at this. Some of you are about to start a new journey. But this also speaks to tapping into your community, your resources, who you have networked or built for this network. It doesn't matter if it's a different field. You never know who knows who or you just don't. I remember I set an intention once to connect to business coaches, business support, and I had to go into a liquor store, which is very infrequent, to get something for my altar. It was a specific alcoholic beverage. And I met the owner of this liquor store and he used to be a business owner on Wall Street, extensive, over 30 years experience. He was also very spiritual. I've started talking to him about things and I was like, unbelievable where you meet people. He offered to mentor me. Again, you never know. Set an intention because I feel like, ooh, and we have a white peacock here. This is totally uh, speaking to the divine connection. Unexpected people are gonna cross your path to help you. Be really open, set the intention. Put yourself out there, I'm hearing, and say yes to opportunities that will allow you to be in community with others, you know, within your own levels of comfort too and without overwhelming yourself. But this is going to be essential to what it is that many of you may want to step out of. Kind of like the trader. Oh, my crystal keeps falling. Look at this. Literally, when you own a marketplace, commerce, do business of any sorts, the people that you engage with, I'll just say, quote unquote, the travelers, they are what make your business. I feel like some of you are definitely going out on your own. Anything else my Tauruses need to know? Thank you. We got grace and gratitude. Oh, sorry, the camera moved. Through gratitude, joy expands. So again, you all are very much ruled by, by Venus. And for you, it's all about making sure that you do have a routine in place that does bring you joy. So make sure as you go, as you're thinking about this transition or you're thinking about changing your career, your job, your direction in life, your path, whatever undergirds that foundation, that you take time to incorporate joy because that's also going to lead to the abundance that you're seeking, to the prosperity. It's almost like a balancing act here. There's a lot of paths here ahead. You see the paths? Some of you may be traveling. It's through these travels you may meet unexpected people on your journey, other fellow supporters, other travelers, people that have connections, people that are going to assist you in this new path. Okay, we're gonna pull a work your light oracle because I really feel like everyone is working their light. Some may be dimming it. That's why I pulled this card and the uh, keepers of the light oracle deck. Okay. Oh, what messages, please? What messages does the universe have for my Tauruses?
What messages does the universe have for my Tauruses, please? Thank you. Sisterhood of the Rose. Beauty and devotion. Does this not scream Taurus? Priestess, mystic teacher. Wow. Some of you are making different... I'm getting like a shift in your career into a different field. Perhaps some of you are entering the spiritual field that's broad. Some of you are may identify as a priestess, mystic teacher. Some of you are meant to help and guide others, like show people. And again, you don't have to be in the spiritual field at all. I'm also getting some of you are opening up to new gifts at this time. I'm getting like pre premonitions, like dreams, prophetic dreams, clairvoyancy. Some of you scry. You're able to look at water, fire, and earth. I'm getting like dirt and you're able to receive messages and, and read them. There's something about community here, sisterhood, fellow travelers. It doesn't it doesn't necessarily speak of gender here, but I feel like it's with a feminine energy that could help you. And we all encompass feminine and masculine energy. Wow. What other messages please for my Tauruses? Any other messages? Thank you. Oh, we got this for the weekly. Again, I feel like there's something in the weekly energy reading posted Monday that there may be something for you in there. Min Mintakan, Mintakan, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Some of you may identify as star seeds. Some of you uh, may be channelers or may be activated. Start getting like you may receive or see light language or you may start receiving information because I just saw your stellar gateway chakra open. I'm getting like a natural healing with water. Something with scrying. I feel for some of you on this path, this may be like a big shift for you, a big change, and it's something you weren't expecting. Some of you may have uh, experienced recently a spiritual awakening. I'm getting a like a big shift, almost like making a sharp turn somewhere. Like this wasn't what you set out to do, but it feels like what you're supposed to do. It's It's like something you feel innately you have to do. It's like part of who you are. This is connecting you, I feel, to your soul. There's a deeper longing here to do something that's very meaningful, that you want to help people. Some of you, you're here to really help humanity. I mean, we all help humanity, but I'm getting the message here. You're here to lead in some way. Because whenever I see the tor like the bull, I mean, I get leader intuitively. The bull takes charge, literally. Some of you are just starting this journey. Wow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna tap into the tarot. And we got a few more oracle we'll come back to. This is amazing. This is a completely new chapter. For some of you, you're not even there yet. This is like ahead. You're probably wondering, this does not resonate with me. <laughs> you're just getting glimpses of the puzzle right now. You don't even have the whole picture. I 
feel like for the Tauruses that I'm capturing here, you may be in a state of infl uh, influx. No, flux, right? Transition, yes. You may be in a state of like, oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on with my life. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know why I feel so lost. I know I want to do something different. I'm just getting, I keep getting like a sharp turn as if I made a wrong turn in my, on the road. I wanted to stay in my life, but I don't feel like we ever make wrong turns. If we detoured, we just get rerouted back to our path. It's all good. Some of you are not listening to your intuition. You're getting messages right now about it. Especially in cancer season, cancer is ruled by the moon. We are very intuitive, all of us. It's through the feeling. Some of you may be claircognizant. You're feeling or clairsentient. You're feeling and sensing things. And you're like, this is weird. Pay attention to those feelings because they're signs of your journey. Okay. What messages... What can you tell my Tauruses, please, for what they need to know for July? <laughs> what do my Tauruses need to know for July, please? Whoa, I don't think that's happened where <laughs> nothing comes out in a while. What do my Tauruses need to know, please? Wow, we got two of swords. Let me move this up to make sure you guys can see this put it up here there's definitely a decision here I feel like you you may be uh, literally um, not seeing clarity you're feeling stuck stagnant perhaps unbalanced hence the scale some of you may have Libra because this is a, the second indicator for me for Libra in your charts but you do have a decision to make here swords are air Libra Gemini Aquarius this could be choices, decisions, two options. I feel like there's some fear surrounding this. It could, I, similar to what I said in the beginning, some of you have to make a decision about leaving something, releasing something, because in order for the next phase to start, you have to release it first. Ooh, okay, we're gonna take those, those slid off. There's a lot. Okay. Wow. You guys, some, some of you have a lot of air in your chart. Queen of Swords is very detached at this moment. Of course, you're not tapping into your intuition right now because you're getting a shitload of messages. This is why you, some of you may be feeling very confused, very lost, very frustrated. I'm getting the energy. You're like, I don't know what to do. I've asked for help. I'm not getting signs. Go within. Kind of like this person is here in the water. Go to your favorite sanctuary and take a, a respite, like a time out for a sec. Like what she's doing, floating on this. Take time out. I, I'm not saying like if you work, like don't go to work. But make sure you take time out during your day to center yourself, ground yourself. Take a walk out in nature. Uh, reconnect to something you love doing. Take a bath or go into water, a beach, uh, a lake meditate you're gonna find the answers that's where they're they're in there they're within you okay let's read these we got queen of cups wow this is almost it's different cards but similar energy to the weekly energy reading because we got two kings we got the king of swords and the king of cups in the weekly and with you all we got the queen of swords and the queen of cups this is definitely about balancing your emotions with your logical side queen of cups is very intuitive very open very comfortable with their feelings there's a, a need to balance we got libra here libra then we have the two here two here there's a duality here there's you guys have to balance something here and because something is missed you're, you're missing something. Let's take a look at the additional cards. We got Ace of Pentacles. This is Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Judgment card. The Lovers, Six, which is also Balance. Three of Swords. Okay. Let's 
So I definitely feel like some of you, so I'm not getting like complete, I'm not getting love here. That's the thing, I'm not getting love. For some of you, this may, the situation of you having to change, uproot, move, or, you know, completely um, shift into a new career work. It may have to do with a breakup, with a relationship of sorts, but I'm getting for most of you, your new beginning, which you're wanting to start, there's something new that you are going to be stepping into that concerns your finances. This is like a new, a new idea, a new inspiration, but something that has long-term stability. There's promise. This is the start of something new, but there's something about holding, uh, being held back. And I think it's you still processing emotions. Because the lovers too is also about balance. I feel like this is more internal, like internal heartache. Some of you are not happy where you are at. There's like an anguish. A lot of this has to do with balancing in your life, like a balance. Some of you are seeking just joy and happiness, not overworking. You want like a balance in work and having a life. Some of you want your the love that you have in your heart for what you do to be connected to your job. So for some of you, this shift is going to be very heart-centered, very aligned, which is imp really important in relation to tapping into your emotions. Because the start has huge potential for longevity. There's just some releasing you have to do in terms of uh, some beliefs about this. Making sure you have clarity. In terms of your intuition, I keep getting intuition for you all. Yeah, there's a balance, a balance that's needed here. There's something that was very one sided, whether you were giving too much of yourself, too much energy. Whatever situation you're in, especially with regards to your job, your finances, it's caused a lot of heartache, disappointment, grief. Some of you need to leave the situation and release this. There's something new starting. Let me, let me clarify, I wanted to clarify on. For some of you, there may be um, like a toxic boss or coworker. There's some imbalance in your work situation, finances. Whatever it is, I'm sensing it's it's toxic. It could be abusive. It could just be a very um, a, a situation where you're not valued. You're not compensated for your worth. You're doing too much, and it's, you're exhausted. Clarify the three of swords, please. Let me clear. Thank you. Holy fuck. Excuse me. <laughs> we got queen of swords and we got it here too. Look at this. This was clarifying the three of swords. So more air energy, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Oh my goodness. There's been a major transformation here. I feel like some of you, again, I'm getting a lot of spiritual awakening. This may be recent. This may be something that sparked your spiritual journey. Or you may be just uh, progressing in your own evolutionary path, your own soul path, ascension, if you will. You're being called to uh, detach in a way that allows you to heal and move on. Don't stay in this energy to make a decision because the Queen of Swords is definitive with her decision. She doesn't play around. She doesn't worry about emotions. She's like, this is what's going to happen. This is what I'm going to do. 
There's something about gaining clarity and being decisive here. Can we get an, any clarification, more information on the lovers, please? What does this pertain to? Some of you may have been involved in the workplace with someone in a romantic way. And it's affecting your work situation now because you may no longer be with this person. It could also be a friendship gone wrong or a colleague gone wrong. We got 10 of wands. Yeah, 10 is about completion. Something ended here. Uh, something ended in the workplace. It could be the job itself, which is leading to this imbalance, or it could be with someone else. But this is prompting you to want to leave. Can you tell us anything else about the Ace of Pentacles? <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> So yeah, I feel like this change that's going to happen, I mean, we don't have any any change cards, but I'm getting a strong, like I said, I keep getting, intuitively, there's a strong shift, like a turn. You're wanting to build something else. Some of you are definitely going out solo as entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, or freelancers, or working with others. Some of you are going to be putting in your time because this is something you're passionate about. Ooh, I'll put this up here. Okay. What else can you, what other um, final information do my uh, Tauruses need to know, please? Thank you. Nine of Swords, wow. Yeah. This is more air energy. There's a shit ton of air. A lot of you are way in your head, have been overthinking this, have been in your head, just constantly repeating this story over and over. I feel like whatever the situation was, especially I'm just getting work, finances, career, it's caused a lot of distress on you, a lot of anxiety. Many of you have not been able to sleep. Many of you have just been having a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty. Let me clarify the Nine of Swords, please. Queen of Wands. Shit, you got three queens, you all, in your in your spread. This is fire. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So this is really about connecting to your inner passions, your inner drives. Knowing that everything is within you, that you have all the abundance within you to continue growing. It's almost like the Eight of Coins leads to the Queen of Wands. A lot of endings, an ending completion. This is a new cycle for many of you. Final advice, please, for my Tauruses here. Any final advice, please, for my Tauruses? Holy crap, Five of Pentacles. We also have a few fives here, which indicate change. Again, this is Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This is about you really keeping yourself in a self-imposed kind of um, framework, almost like a self-limiting belief, but also keeping yourself in the state of mind. You have a lot more power than you realize, my Taurus is. Look at all the queen cards. Do not give your power away to this situation, to these people, to this job, to whatever ended or completed or produced and generated this toxicity, this abuse. Do not give your power away. Call it back. Literally, call it back. There was something, maybe it was in the weekly energy reading. There's something that you need to do. It may be taking a time out to heal and to rest, but there's a lot of cards here that indicate that this was a situation gone bad in the work environment, wherever you earned your money, or it could have been if you're a consultant or freelancer working with others. Okay, I <laughs> wanted to get some more information here. We got the Knight of Wands, which is fire energy. And this is simply about uh, taking action. Some of you have been in this energy too long or are still in this situation and you don't know what to do. There's a decision you have to make in order to regain balance and to move ahead because you do have a brand new beginning, a new opportunity started in this area in your work environment. But you got to leave the situation and make the choice for yourself and really like skedaddle out of there. Okay, let's pull a uh, Keepers of the Light deck and see 
what guidance they have for you. Oop. What guidance do you have for my Tauruses, please? Thank you. Saint Germain. Karma releasing, move beyond drama. Create your own path, make room for good energy. For some of you, this may have been because you have a lot of change endings and completions here. This may have been part of a karmic cycle for you all. If this was a relationship with someone at work, romantic or platonic, with a boss, a colleague, or the job itself that could indicate this, it could have been part of something you needed to learn doesn't make it any easier actually it doesn't reduce the pain but it could give you some insight and illumination and also clarity on what specifically you were meant to learn i feel for some of you this was about your value you came out in your own reading this was about finding value excuse me this was about finding balance because you do have a lot of indicators here of balance finding balance in your life some of you may have been or are currently in a job where you are just being used and you're investing so much, but you're not getting the compensation. This is also about recognizing your worth, your value, that you deserve better, you deserve more. This was about you having to stand up for yourself. And again, take it as it resonates. This may have happened, maybe currently happening, or may be about to happen. Because we got a lot of queen energy here. You got all the queens, queen of wands, queen of swords twice, and queen of cups. Some of you may have been dimming your light. This is also speaking to boundaries. Oh, we're gonna pull a self-care oracle. Wow, you all have literally gone through the, the gamut, like a big cycle here with this this was huge this was all meant to teach you about you your worth and when you leave or if you've left that was the universe's signal of okay we're gonna drop this big ace that's coming this new start it's about you recognizing your worth because no one can tell you well people can keep telling you but nothing happens until you recognize it yourself meditate <laughs> look at this I said that earlier you all, in order to get the messages about your next chapter, and also, too, if you're asking for assistance, if you're still in this situation, you're getting it through meditation. But like I said, a lot of you are having difficulty balancing that or are ignoring the messages. Meditation is an amazing way to connect to your inner self. It's during those quiet moments. It doesn't have to be during the meditation itself, but during those moments when we can be an open channel and receive messages because they're very subtle. Let's get a final spirit animal message for you all. My Taurus is something big is coming that's going to lead to abundance. You've got three queen cards. That's about being in your power. I feel like you're going to be stepping into your purpose here. This is going to be like what you want. Look at this. There's just so much abundance, beauty, blessings coming your way. What final messages for my Tauruses, please? What final messages or message? Final message for my Tauruses? Thank you. Wow, we got Ram. Perseverance. Some of you may have Aries in your chart. You have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. Your, excuse me, with patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. Some of you may want to embody this. Keep going, because the ram to me is very reminiscent, regardless of feminine, masculine energies of the queen, queen of swords, queen of cups, and you had queen of wands here. Do not give up. You are almost there. Know your worth, your value. Know what you deserve, and make sure that you stand up for yourself. This is all about you, my Tauruses. I am wishing you a lot of healing for this month. I hope you get you gain clarity and that you are able to follow those intuitive nudges that you are receiving.
because that's going to be your key. If this reading resonated or you got anything out of it, I would appreciate it if you could like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, um, I thank you again for being here and for your support, and I will see you soon.